Next week in Strasbourg, MEPs debate the biggest data leak in history. Better ways to manage refugee flows and in the aftermath of the devastating attacks in Brussels. Can terror be stopped? Welcome to the agenda. A little before 8 a.m. on the 22nd of March, two explosions rip through the departures terminal at the Brussels airport. An hour later, another at Malbec metro station. 32 people died and many more were injured. And now supporters of the so-called Islamic State are calling for further attacks in Berlin, Rome and in London. At the plenary, MEPs are set to approve a further 2 million euros to reinforce staff at Europol's new European counter-terrorism centre and expect statements on the attacks from the EU Council and Commission on Tuesday. The Panama Papers are the biggest data leak in history and have exposed how the rich and famous use tax havens to hide their millions and in some cases billions. 2,600 gigabytes of data has implicated sitting presidents, prime ministers and celebrities. After protests calling for his resignation, Iceland's prime minister stepped aside for an unspecified time. Parliament has been advocating better tax practices for member states ever since the LuxLeaks. How will they react? Find out on Tuesday. Failing to cope with their numbers, Europe cut a deal with Turkey to send migrants back from Greece. But can other means be sought within Europe to better regulate migratory flows? Parliament wants a fairer central asylum procedure. This would overhaul the Dublin rules that state the arrival country of a refugee will determine their asylum application. MEPs are also calling for a quota system per member state, but can such a diktat work? The draft report will be voted in the chamber on Tuesday, along with the release of 100 million euros from the 2016 budget for emergency aid for refugees. And now for the news in brief. Fuel poverty affects 50 to 125 million people in the EU. MEPs will debate new plans to ensure households have adequate heating. On Wednesday, MEPs will vote to move for a resolution on the Zika virus outbreak that looks to help member states share information better and assist affected countries. And on Wednesday, the key debate will see MEPs pore over the outcome of a two-day EU Council summit in March that signed off on a deal with Turkey to end irregular migration to Europe. And finally, on Wednesday, Portugal's President Marcelo Rebelo de Sousa will address the plenary. And that's all we have for this agenda. Take care and enjoy the week.